Hi Sweatpant Nation, welcome back. I am in my second pair of sweatpants for the day. Today we are going to be talking about small barrel waves. So this is a one inch curling iron. This is good for a loose beachy wave as well as a tighter curl. You can use this for just day to day or you can use this for a more formal event. So I'll do half of my head in a tighter curl and half of my head in a looser curl because no one's gonna see me. So who cares if it doesn't match? I'm gonna start over my temples and kind of do a horseshoe around my head that dips down a bit in the back. So this is what it looks like around. As usual, I'm going to pull both sides forward. My curling iron is on, like I did for my other curling iron, it's on the sixth setting of eight. I don't want it all the way up because I don't want to fry my hair off and I don't want to get a crunchy curl. And I don't want it all the way down because if it's all the way down, the curl's just not gonna hold. You're gonna take it with the clamp in the front. I'm gonna take smaller sections than I would with a bigger curling iron because I do want a bit of a tighter curl. And if I, the barrel is smaller. So if I do take a bigger section, it's just not gonna hold as well. Well, one square inch section here, as I did with my Big barrel curling iron. I'm gonna put my clamp in the front and clamp and turn as I'm going. So with this, I'm gonna kind of start in the middle again and twist up, but I'm gonna keep the hair touching as I do my twists. And same thing, bring it down and retwist. Bring it down and retwist. And I have my ends in it. And as I let go, I just kind of pull this out. A curl like this is good for something like an event. If you're going to an event and you're going to do your hair in a little mini updo or something like that, a tighter curl like this is really good for that. Otherwise, I would go with a looser wave. Again, pull down. Now for the other side, I'm gonna do a bit of a looser wave on this side. So, same technique, but when I curl the hair in there, I'm gonna kind of do a little bit more pulling and I'm gonna keep a little bit more distance between the ribbons. Clamp and turn. Let's see where there's the space right here. That's gonna give you a beachier look. Same thing. And as I'm moving down the hair, I'm also kind of letting this come off rather than returning it back up to get this really tight wave here. And I'm pulling down and letting go. You can see how different these two front curls look. That's just a tight curl that you would use for an updo. And this is a beach wave. Again, remember to keep that separation there and more of an angle on the hair. You can leave your ends out or you can incorporate them, whichever you feel comfortable with. Sometimes I'll go back in at the end and kind of just grab my ends and just kind of give them a little bit of bend just to smooth them out a bit.
So for my second section this time, I just kind of started at right where my hairline or my part starts and I did a little horseshoe around to kind of mirror it on the other side. Need a drink. Again, tighter curls on this side. As you can see, I have less of an angle on the hair. It's kind of hitting the hair almost at a 90 degree angle. Whereas on this side, I'm doing it more of it's a 45 degree angle. And press on this as you pull down. back to this side. Again, more of an angle. And don't forget to twist as you go when you're pulling out. last section for both sides I just kind of take the top layer off of my heavy side if you do a middle part I would just kind of take a little bit from both sides just so you have really smooth extra curled top section
So as I said yesterday in the other video, with this front piece here, you can curl it either way you want. You can go forward with it or you can go backward with it. I usually go forward with it just because it does smooth my baby hairs a little bit more than going backward with it. So I clamp it a little bit and just kind of go over it to smooth it a bit before clamping and turning. Okay, so as you can see, I have two completely different looking curls from the same curling iron. I never run through my curls before I'm done curling the whole head, just because I do kind of want to let it set for as long as I possibly can before running my fingers through. So I'll run my fingers through this side first so you can see what it's going to look like as a finished product. As you can see, I still have a lot of really nice curl to that. So don't be afraid to run your fingers through your curls. Running your fingers through is your friend. Now with this side, same thing. Where I want to be to your look, you can kind of tossle it up a little bit. And you get a more PC, wavy, beachy look with holding the curling iron at an angle like that. I'm just going to finish it with a little bit of my Schwarzkopf. Um, this one is Thrill Texture Fiber Gum. This is my absolute favorite product to run through my hair after it's dried. Sometimes I even put it in before I blow dry it, just on these pieces here, just to kind of give them a little extra hold. But I'll run that through. Gives a nice smoothness. Kind of re-texturizes your curls. And there you go, our finished look. I'm ready for club couch. <laughs>